What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so now it is time to go up against Koga, the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. Now, Fuchsia City is known for Sephora Zone and all that stuff, and of course Koga is a Poison type Gym Leader. And we do have one more slot open for a Pokemon, and uh, well, I'm looking at my team right here. I'm like very impressed right now. I am very impressed. I'm personally, I'm happy because this is quite a diverse team. Um, and that means like it is a very, very diverse team. Um, as you can see, I got almost every single type covered with this team right here. As you can see, Charizard's both a fire and flying type Pokemon. You got Executor at Grass and Psychic. Aaliyah, my Pikachu, is at Electric. Here we have Ground and Poison with Thrasher, and then you got Poliswag at Water type, and then eventually it will become a a Fighting type too. So you got multiple, you got multiple, uh, what, what you might call it, typings onto the, uh, onto this team right here. Now I did wanted to add Tank onto this team as well because. I did say I was not going to use a dragon type Pokemon in this game, and uh, I was looking at looking it over, and I was like, you know, what what kind of Pokemon would I be using for this as the final slot Pokemon? And uh, well, everything pointed towards Tank. Yeah, I know. I used Tank in uh, Pokemon Yellow, and it it was a very very helpful Pokemon. But what really caught my eye the most was the fact that it has immunity, which is it prevents poisoning. And that is exactly where we're going into a poison type gym. Now, I was actually thinking of using Sir Tank, but kind of figured that, hey, I already gave it counter and secret power. It's a very powerful Pokemon. I might as well use Tank instead. So there you go, guys. We got plenty of typing. So if you take a look at this, including the uh, eventual evolution of, uh, of Poliswag, you got one, you got three right here, you got five, six, eight, and ten different typings in one team. So I'm very happy with the way my team is looking. Uh, comment down below what you guys think about it. I mean, I know there has been a little bit of slack uh, uh, out there because of uh, what, what had happened with Patrick and all that stuff. But you know what? It is what it is. We all make mistakes. Me personally, we all, like, I kind of felt like I made a mistake by picking that Pokemon. So... It is what it is, guys. So now, we're going to be going into the Fuchsia City Gym right here. And, uh, let's see. Koga, the leader. The poisonous ninja leader. Now, you're going to need Pokemon at least level 35 to 37 because his Pokemon are very, very strong. Super strong right here. Super, super duper strong. So, let's go right ahead and get this going right here. Let's see. Oh, there's the only guy that's believing this. So, here he is. It's like, yo, champ in the making. Fuchsia, uh, Fuchsia Gym is tricked up place. It's riddled with invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off. You might, you have to find the gaps in the walls to reach him. What he means is, if you guys can see clearly right here, the little white dots, those are your little telltale signs of where to go into this gym right here. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, another thing about this gym is that it's not exactly all poison type Pokemon. There's going to be a lot of psychic type Pokemon in here that knows poison type moves. So, kind of just like it, it, it kind of confuses you in a way because it's like, again, this is a poison type gym. Why are there, yeah, why are there, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, why are there, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, psychic type Pokemon? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Tank and uh, hopefully it works out from there. So, here we go. Let's see how, let's see you beat my special techniques. Okay, let's see what we got. So here we go, Juggler Nate, and he will be coming out with his Drowsy. A lot of these jugglers like to come out with, uh, with Psychic type Pokemon. So let's see what this Headbutt does. As you can see, he's using its Meditate, increasing its attack. And, uh, here we go, Headbutts. And as we all know, Dra or as we all know, Psychic type Pokemon do have, uh, crappy defenses or physical defenses and of course I flinched let's go with the counter and uh, that might not work because psychic is a phys or is a special attack all right yes immunity prevents poisoning <laughs> finally I'm not getting poisoned that's the best part right there guys as you can see polyswag getting points for no reason so we're gonna continue on right here with tank 
Now, Snorlaxes are really, really hard to use. Really, actually, really, really hard to raise. They do have a huge uh, uh, move pull around here, so it's a very good Pokemon to actually have too. So I can't wait to use it some more. And uh, Poliswag grows to level 34. We're one level close to actually getting the le the the moves that we need right here. And uh, yeah. Okay, so you're done. And uh, we got another. Oh yeah, we got another. Psychic type Pokemon, so bring it on. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy. Uh, what st uh, I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. Huh? How would you? De okay, comment down below, guys. How would you describe my Pokemon team? Is it brute strength, strategy, or is it just a shit storm? Just be honest, guys. <laughs> Trust me, I won't be offended. Uh, let's see. Counter. Okay, thank you. You hit me. Oh, crap. Okay, do it again. Crap. Okay, so I thought that I was going to, yeah, I thought I was going to have a chance right here, but no. This guy is kicking my butt right now, and of course, immunity prevents this poisoning right here, so it's a good thing for me. And uh, let's go with the secret power. And uh, that meditate will increase its attack. And so here we go. Secret power. That's right, you are paralyzed, you asshole Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go with another headbutt right here. And there you go. Tank! Where have you been all my life? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, what? Extraordinary! Man, I probably should have been using Tank first. Oh, man. Strategia Magesis. Okay, so let's go with a few super potions right here. Of course, Tank is a very, very tanky Pokemon. Alrighty, so there you go. Okay, alrighty, so who's next? Um, yeah, all of these guys have uh, psychic type Pokemon, so I'm just gonna stick with Tank, mainly because it's very, very strong on the on the physical attack part. And uh, I didn't read what the what the guy said. Something about being a ninja of this gym. So here we go, another juggler. His name is Kirk, and he's gonna be coming out with his drowsy right here. Okay, let's do this. Secret power. Turns out Secret Power is a very move, a strong move right here, and, uh, oh yeah, I'm liking this, okay. Let's go, Tank. Let's do this. Another Secret Power does it. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, Polyswag doing its thing. Not doing anything and just getting experience points because it can, and, uh, here we go. Another Poison Gas. Oh, wow. Immunity. <laughs> yeah. How to prevent poison. Just get yourself a Snorlax and uh, crud. Psychic attack. And, uh, well, as you can see, special defense has gone down, but no biggie because we got a secret power right here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. And he's going to be coming out with another Kadabra, so let's just go ahead and just physically abuse this Pokemon with headbutts. Of course, it's going to be using Reflect. Okay. And, uh, oh, nearly takes him out right there. And here comes a future sight. So we have to beat this. We have to beat this team in five turns. And it looks like to me that, yeah, it has one more Pokemon right here. And, uh, okay, Drowsy, bring it on, homeboy. Alrighty. Let's go. Headbutt for the win. No! Crud. And normally I would flinch right here. But here we go with the secret power. Let's get this. And uh, well, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit twice right now. Uh, crud, a critical hit, and uh, took the future future sight attack. Oh god. And uh, I nearly faint right there, but luckily for us, we still have guts. That's right, and a shit ton of guts right there. There we go, tank. Man, where have you been all my life? Where? Uh, you know what? Hyper Potion should do it right here for Tank. Alrighty, so there you go. Tank gets the uh, Hyper Potion right here. And, uh, well, it is time to take on another Pokemon trainer right here. And this one looks like it has different types of Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Executon, or Execumon. Execumon. And uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Also, I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Okay, 
Alrighty. Let's just bring it. So here we go. Tamer Edgar wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Arbok right here. You don't intimidate me. Technically it does, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Confusion, and uh, that glare attack was gonna get me right there, but here we go. Confusion. Oh, yes. Super effective. And, uh, <laughs> hey, you're confused, you asshole. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna speed uh, speed my Executumon just a little bit because look at that. I had a feeling. Oh yes. Executumon, you have been speed up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a good combination. Let's go with Egg Bomb. We've never... CRUD! I was about to say, we never used it before. Might not be able to use it right now because look at that. Arbok defeated. Alrighty. And uh, Polyswag doing his thing, just sitting back, enjoying the show right here. And uh, the sunlight is strong. Come on, Executumon. Do it with the Ugg Bomb. There we go. Oh, wow. That wasn't strong. Wow. And, uh, okay. I thought I was going to win like that, but never mind. Okay, so let's go with the confusion right here. Alrighty. Okay, and then, uh, you, yeah, you're just, yeah, trying to lower my accuracy. Why would you do that? Why? Why? And, uh, here we go. Confusion for the win. That's right. Sandslash defeated. Crud, I just realized, look at that. Polyswag. Learning Body Slam. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna, it doesn't really need hypnosis. I know, guys. Not the strategic type, but I do have other Pokemon for, you know, trying to trying to get legendary Pokemon. So here we go, Body Slam, a very good move. And he's coming out with another Arbok right here. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to continue on with this whole getting uh, intimidated and stuff. And uh, the sunlight faded. So we are kind of in danger right now because Arbok is a little faster than us. And crud, we're getting bit. Oh my god. And uh, that nearly takes him out. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, damn it! Glare attack, glare attack. Where art thou, where art thou, glare attack? And there you go. Arbok defeated. I just realized I had Giga Drain. Could have used that. You know, I could still use that. No worries. Okay, so we have accomplished something that we needed to do. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take away the experience share from Polyswag. We're going to give it we're going to give it to uh to Tank right here because of course it's going to be a very difficult Pokémon to raise up. Trust me guys, it is. It is a very very difficult Pokémon trade. Then we're going to heal our Pokémon right here, Executumon. And uh yeah, we're going to give it a super potion right here because it's been a good Pokemon. Yes, you have. I've been a good Pokemon right here. And I probably should have done this off screen because uh, it would have helped me a lot. But let's go straight to the TM case and uh, let's go ahead and teach it Giga Drain. And uh, alrighty, you're going to be learning some pr a pretty damn good move right here. And uh, well, what kind of move w would I take it off? Um, well,. Let's see. You know what? I could take off uh, Egg Bomb. But I may need it because Confusion can only go a long way, so... Yeah, you know what? You know what? Um... Yeah. Might be going with this one right here. Nah, you know what? Let's just go with Egg Bomb right here. It's a, it's a risk I'm willing to take. So there we go, we take off Egg Bomb, or and then we're gonna be giving it a very, very good move right here. An accurate move, Giga Drain. And then, uh, let's see. Oh yes, I forgot. One more thing, right here. We're gonna settle this score right now. Water, water Stone for our good old buddy, Polyswag. It is finally time. So as you can see, guys, it's been quite a few episodes. I made a mistake with Patrick, but I've learned it. And here we are. We're going to be using Polyswag for the dynamic of the team. That's right. 
So here it is, guys. How you doing? Polly Rath. That's Polly Swath. That's right. And it, after evolving at level 35, it is starting to learn Submission, so that's another move that we can uh, actually use. The only repercussion to that one is that it has 80 accuracy and you will get hurt a little, so I'm willing to take that risk right here because it's a little bit powerful. It's a little more HP or a, it's a little bit more, um, what was it, PP? Don't worry, guys. You can always buy Brick Break if you think that's a big mistake right there. And, uh, well, let's see. I think there's one more thing we need to do now. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of a dilemma right here now because I still have Psychic. I know I had it with Patrick. But remember, I soft reset it. There are three different Pokemon that can learn Psychic, and uh, it's probably the only Psychic that we that we have. So, as you can see, Patrick can learn it. It is both a Fighting and and Water type Pokemon. Tank can learn this, and it could be as a uh, well, it could be as a cover right here. And then, of course, Executumon can learn it too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give it to Tank right here because it will be fighting Fighting type Pokemon. And uh, this could be as a good cover for the Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and give that to this Pokemon. Take away Rest. So now my Pokemon have some very, very good moves. We don't have to worry about anything. Maybe. I don't know. So there it is. Tank. Learn Psychic. And uh, we, we will eventually teach it... Uh, what was it? We will eventually teach it... Uh, what was it called? Return. So... Now, moving on forward right here, we're going to be battling, I guess, two more trainers. And, uh, you know what? I kind of want to use Poliswag right now because, you know, I've never really used them. Not just yet. So here we go. Stop right there! The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia City have, or Fuchsia Gym have, wait, have you frustrated? Shit, I didn't even read it correctly. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Tamer Phil would like to battle, and he's coming out with a Sand Slash. Here we go, Poly Swag. He's looking pretty swaggy. Let's go, Surf Attack. Alrighty, okay, look at that. My Poly Swag is looking swagalicious. That's right, look at that. And, uh, look at that. Tank grows to level 31 without doing anything. And here he comes out with an R Box, so we're gonna be going to, th to, th to Thank, no, Tank. I'm gonna set it in a list. <laughs> and uh, I am not worried at all because, you know, you can't poison me. So here we go, Psychic Attack, and of course it's going to be using Glare, that asshole Pokemon. Oh god, I hate you. Alright, so I can't move. Great, can't move at all, so let's go ahead and try this again. Come on, don't be a dick. There we go, Psychic Attack. Eat it, Arbok. And it's super effective, but it doesn't really do much. It really doesn't. So let's go right ahead and continue on this onslaught right here with the headbutt. And uh, more headbutts. Jesus H. Christ. Of course, I won't get poisoned. And yeah, I'm going to get paralyzed left and right right here. And uh, yeah, getting abused. Just absolutely abused right now. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay, so here we go. Arbok defeated. That's right. And, uh, well, we've got it. That's right. Okay, so that right there was kind of a. That right there was kind of bad. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Tank, you're, you have been an awesome Pokemon. Very, very awesome Pokemon. There we go. And, uh, let's see. Let's go with the full heal right here. That's right, and so let's go right ahead and uh, take on, I guess, the last Pokemon trainer right here. And uh, let's see, it's a very, yeah, we're going to be very physical with this guy right here too. So let's go straight with Poliswag. Let's see what this guy has to say. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? Kings and queens. I'm just playing, I don't even know. I really don't know. So here we go, Juggler Sean would like to battle and he's coming out with his uh, Drowsy. And I will be coming out with Poly Swag. Let's go Body Slam. Now I am running a risk here because it is a, a fighting type Pokemon now. And as you can see, getting hit with Psychic is bad. Very bad. 
So here we go, another body slam. Oh yes, Drowsy defeated. There we go, look at that. And uh, coming out with a hip now, that is gonna be bad. So let's go straight to Godzilla and see if we can go, uh, see if we can kick more ass right here. So let's see what Godzilla has to say. Alrighty, let's go Mega Punch, crud. And, uh, yeah, that was not good at all. So let's go again, Mega Punch. And it completes it. Yeah, buddy. Not that not that strong, but it's okay. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Oh, yes. And, uh, damn it. Getting poisoned. You have got to love the poison, right, guys? Love the poison. Love, love, love the poison. Okay, so... We're getting hit by that, so here we go again. A flamethrower for the win. Alrighty, okay. There we go, and bam. Sean has been defeated. You're more skilled than I thought. Yes, I am. Very skilled, okay. So, again, we gotta heal our, our Pokemon right here. So let's go with a full heal and give that to this guy, of course, and uh, well, we gotta go straight to Koga, and, uh... Well, it's been a long time coming yet again, but we still have to face Koga. Our good old buddy Koga, because he's awesome like that. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, so I'm just gonna go to Koga, just so I can... I, I know what I'm talking about. That way you guys don't say, oh, Draven's full of BS and stuff. And, uh... Let's see. Okay, right here, and we are set. Okay, <sighs> I'm ready to do the laugh. Fixing up my uh, my laughing uh, voice right here. So here we go. <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. What the hell is mirth? Very well. I shall show you true the shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horrors of poison Pokemon. Wow, that was really bad at reading. It's whatever. Alrighty, guys. It's been a while, but now it's time. Let's do it. The music. The lights. The action. Leader Koga. Coming out with his Koga or his coughing right here. And here we go. Switching it up to the next screen right here, guys. As you can see, Koga has four different types of Pokemon, all poison-type Pokemon. He's got a level 37 Coughing, or two level 37 Coughings, a level 39 Muck, and a level 43 Weezing. All three of them are poison-type Pokemon. Now, three of the four have Levitate, so if you, if you guys are planning on using a ground-type move, that is going to prove useless. Now, all three of those uh, Pokemon um, actually... Both coughings have self-destruct. Be aware of that. Smoke screen is something else with the strategic, uh, the strategic influence that he has right there. And uh, with Monk, he actually has minimized to increase his evasion right there. And don't forget about the toxic. Toxic is a very, very bad poison type Pokemon move that will actually decrease your HP every time. But even worse than that, than than that of a regular poison type move. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Now, the different types of Pokemon you can defeat this guy with is Psychic types, Ground types, and I believe... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are the two Pokemon that you can beat him with. If you do have a Steel-type Pokemon, you will not be affected by these Poison-type moves. So, what I'm going to do right now is go back to the screen right here, and uh, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go Body Slam. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, of course, we're going to be hit by Sludge every so often so here we go another body slam I'm gonna try and paralyze this guy just a little and yeah there you go paralysis and uh, he might poison me right now crud uh, let's go surf attack let's go and that is how you do it <laughs> yeah buddy okay and he's gonna be coming out with his mug now this guy likes to increase his uh, evasiveness so we're gonna be going with Executumon right here and we're gonna try and beat it with its confusion attack and what can you say guy what can you say here we go he's coming out with his muck let's go confusion should be strong enough and uh, crud 
hasn't defeated him. As you can see, it's increasing its evasiveness right now. So that's one of the biggest things that we should be worried about. So let's go ahead and use another confusion for this win. There we go. And uh, sludge attack. That is going to be bad for us because, of course, it's super effective. So let's go again. Confusion for the win. There we go. Team effort. Yeah, buddy. And, uh... Okay, so he's going to be coming out with another coughing right here. So let's go with Godzilla and just try and destroy him. Destroy him with just a flame freaking thrower. So here we go, coming out with coughing, and I'm going to go with flamethrower right here. Alrighty. And uh, there goes coughing. That's right. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you defeat him. And Tank grows to level 32. And everybody else is whatever. And he's going to be coming out with the wheezing. So I'm going to go straight to Tank right here because he has immunity. It will not be poisoned. I know what this guy is all about when it comes to uh, using this Pokemon right here. Remember, it does have smoke screen, so it will try and uh, and mess up with uh, mess with your uh, what you call it your your view. So I'm going to use a psychic attack right here. And uh, oh god, that was a pretty good move right there. So here we go, psychic for the win. Takes a lot. So here we go again, another psychic. Jesus criminy, this guy's taking me out real quick right here. So here we go, another psychic attack. And uh, that's a pretty good one right there. So let's go, psychic. And he will be using a hyper potion right here. Remember, gym leaders like to use hyper potions, full restores, just to get back at you with the whole uh, HP and stuff. And uh, it does not decrease its HP and uh, or its uh, defenses. And Jesus Christ. So there you go. That's another one down. Let's go with Execumon. Alright, Execumon, you got this. Let's get this. Confusion. And uh, there we go with the Sludge Attack. And that is the end of Execumon. God dang it! Alright, time to go with the big guns right here. Let's go, Godzilla. And uh, we're gonna go with the Fly because it's faster and it will not get hit by any kind of poison type douche, douche cockery right here. So here we go, Fly Attack. And uh, there we go again with another sludge attack. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so flamethrower right here for the win. Should be strong enough. Can it be strong enough? And yes, it is. That's how you win a match, guys. Yeah, buddy. So there you go. Hm. You have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. And of course, we get a buttload of money just for winning. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. As you can see, we got ourselves the TM06, which is toxic. Still within that TM, it lies toxic. It is a secret technique dating back to four, or for back so, some 400 years. When afflicted by toxic, a Pokemon suffers more and more. It suffers worsening damage as the battle wears on. It will surely terrorize its foes. Pretty good. Very, very good. Okay, so that's two gym battles in a row right there, guys. And, uh, man, that was a lot of work right there, and I'm I'm damn happy about it. Uh, I know that many of you guys are saying, Draven, what are you thinking? What, what the hell are you doing? All that stuff. No, I did the right thing. I feel like I did the right thing. So, talk to this guy. It's amazing how Ninja can terrify even now. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so now, before we finish off everything right here there is one more place that we need to go to and that is we have to go to this guy's house because remember we went to the safari zone a few episodes ago and got him a golden teeth we forgot to give it to him so if you give it to him there it is give him the gold teeth and he's like thanks son you're a real lifesaver no one could understand a word I could say not one I was also too ashamed to show my face around the office even let me give you uh, something for your trouble. And we get ourselves the HM04, which is strength, a very good move, a needed move. And uh, of course, we can move this now. And uh, well, I think it's time to teach it to somebody right here. So let's go right ahead and teach somebody the HM move strength. And as you can see, everybody can learn strength. That is the funny part right here because Wow, I never I never knew that I could have all these Pokemon that 
can learn strength. But if you guys are wondering what this is, it's a rare candy. I'm going to try and figure out what we got. Hold on, just a sec. Um, who could it benefit me, or who could it benefit the most? Let's see. Physical attack, 67. We got tank right here. Oh, I think I know where I made the mistake. Oh, damn. Well, I shot myself in the foot again. And then, let's see, right here. Okay, so I think I know who to give it to. Yeah, I think I know who to give it to, but I'm going to have to reset this whole thing right here, guys. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go off screen, defeat Koga again, and uh, give Psychic 2 the, the proper Pokemon. But I will be giving uh, strength to uh, my good old buddy uh, Snorlax right here. So, uh, let's just, uh, let, let me go a little bit off screen. Give me a few seconds, real quick. Hold on. Okay, so it's fixed up right here, so let's go back to getting that strength technique right here, and uh, here we go. Strength, and let's give it to our good old buddy Tank right here. He wants to learn strength. What should I replace it to? Let's see. So as you can see, it has its old moves back, and uh, well, I'm going to take away Headbutt for right now. Okay, so there we go. Poof, no more Headbutt, and here we go with the strength. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Learn strength. Again, even the best people can make mistakes, guys. So, now that we can use strength, let's go ahead and just take this out of the way and uh, grab ourselves that rare candy. That's right. Move. And there you go, guys. Another rare candy for all of us. And, uh, well, just for uh, Tank's pro or Tank's, uh, you know, Tank's help right there. He's going to be getting that rare candy just because, uh, you know, it's going to be a long long time before this Pokemon can be up to level 40 so here it is tank thank you for your help rare candy alrighty so it's right there and it wants to learn body slam okay okay so let's see what kind of moves should I teach it now let's see an attack da, 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 da. screw it I'm just gonna go with body slam right here whatever goes goes <laughs> okay so there it is body slam Eventually, eventually I'll learn some other moves right there, guys. But, anywho. That is pretty much it for Fuchsia City. Now the next town that we can go to is Saffron. But we are enabled to... we Actually, we are enabled to surf. So, I might just uh, take a, a detour again. Maybe. I don't know. I could be... I don't know. I, I could take another detour. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. See you guys.